what is up my crazy subscriber this is Joaquin John City 4 here bringing you guys a quick commentary and also by the way hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day and yes I am finally back after a few days of absence and I do have a big reason why by the way my PS4 recently is broken like I don't even know how to fix it because I ordered this PS4 on the first wave when it first released and back in 2013 I believe or 2012 I'm not sure when the PS4 released but I bought the PS4 in the first wave and let me tell you guys it was defected since day one and I didn't want to do nothing about it but recently it has been a little bit constant on this big problem that it has so the big problem that my PS4 has is that it ejects the CD randomly it ejects the disc and I'm like what the fuck is going on I'm just sitting there playing like for 10 minutes of division and then all of a sudden ejects the disc I'm like fuck you Sony God damn, let me play my games, man. But recently it has been so constant that I'm like, I gotta I gotta download my games at this point. So I downloaded the Overwatch. As you can see, the gameplay in the background, I'm playing Overwatch recently. And I have it downloaded, so I have no problem playing this game. But when I want to play The Division or some other hard copy game that I have out there, I cannot play it because my PS4 is acting up. So I do apologize for taking so long to upload. It's just that my PS4 is being an asshole right now. So just be patient, people, and I'll come up with content real quick. So... Anyways, moving on to the main topic of today, yesterday, there was chaos in the Call of Duty community. It was so hilarious because, come on people, really? You're going to trust Activision at this point? Like, come on, man. You should, you should know. You should fucking know it already. If not, if you still trust in Activision, make sure you slap yourself with a brick or with a cactus. That also just with a cactus, man, because you deserve a real big ass slap with that shit. But, you see, what happened yesterday? There was a huge ass ban. Maybe like around more than 50% of the player base of Call of Duty Infinite Warfare was banned. And it was hilarious because there was a lot of reactions going on on Twitter. Now you might want to search that shit on Twitter. Search up Call of Duty Infinite Warfare ban. You'll see a lot of reactions about that shit. And um, I'm not going to take a picture of every single tweet because it's going to take so long. And I don't even know how to send it to my email. So yeah, I don't know how to get screenshots from my computer. I'm so fucking dumb, right? <laughs> but anyways... There was a lot of shit going down, a lot of people getting banned, and it was hilarious because this proves that the Call of Duty community just have a small brain. Like, it really does. Like, come on, man. Really? You're going to find a glitch that's really exploitive that you're just going to keep on doing it until they fix it? Like, really? Don't you think that's going to get you banned at some point? So this glitch that I'm talking about is about the key glitch that everybody was doing in zombie modes. Now, if you guys do not know, there was a glitch going around that, um, you know, the, the, you, you unlock an like, infinite amount of keys to unlock more stuff like more perks for your player when you're playing zombies and that's, that's going to give you an advantage in the game and everybody was abusing it everybody so more than 40 percent of the player fan base of, of call of Duty infinite warfare just got banned because everybody knew everybody and their grandmothers knew about this glitch so a lot of people are upset you can search it up right now on youtube they're defending themselves they're like oh yeah i found this glitch and i, I you know i'm kind of guilty about this blah blah you know I'm sorry, but you know, it's in the game, the developers put it in there, I'm like, bruh, if you know it's exploitive, why do you keep on doing it? They'll fix it later, you know how developers are nowadays, if you do find a glitch people, I suggest you just report it, and do not even bother doing it, because this shit's gonna happen to you, it's simple, common sense people, if you know it's bad, stay away from it, like come on, if you find a handgun on the road, are you gonna pick it up and shoot people? Fuck no, you're gonna stay away from it and report it, report it to the cops. That's what you're gonna do in real life, then do this shit in the games. Why do you keep on doing these glitches people? Do not cry about it later because you know you abuse that shit. You abuse this glitch for your own no gain. When you should have known better, you should have been like, oh let me report it and not do, it about it. Not do nothing about it. Let me use a dummy account or something. Maybe I'll exploit it and then do some videos about it that would be hilarious like that's what i would do but in no way in hell will i play the game the multiplayer online experience with glitches hell no man i like to play my online games so it's common sense these people who did the glitch and abuse that and got banned all these people deserve a slap with a fucking cactus at this point they really do. They're all crying, like in, like making videos, like oh, Activision banned me, blah blah. Even Keemstar made a video about this, like oh, it's the developer's fault. Of course, it is the developer's fault, but they didn't tell you to keep on doing it until you get your ass banned. It's simple. So, anyways, that is it, guys. So I want to talk about today. That's the topic, and uh, pretty much, the developers are at fault here sometimes because. 
you know, developers, you need to do, you need to release your games complete at some point. Like for reals, at some point, you gotta test your fucking games, and you won't have this many you know exploitations on your games. You won't have to deal with this kind of situations. But no, you deserve to sit on a fucking cactus, developers, for Activision and Call of Duty. And for the player fan base or whatever for Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, you guys deserve a slap with a brick for not using common sense. Stay away from glitches and you won't be banned. Just report them. Simple and easy move, people. Come on. Come on. Please. So that is it. Make sure you subscribe for more. You guys want to hear more topics like this or some random other stuff.